cool. Oh, oh, awesome, man. You made it. Okay. This is great. I got to get to the airport pretty quick. Got a great trip laid out. I think once you're retired, you need to see the world. You need to explore. You need to make new friends around the world. We're heading out. Come with me, man. I made it to the airport. But you know, before I got to the airport, I did some preparation. Now let's talk about this for a minute. My name's Mike Sager. I'm a life coach for Afro-D. I think when we get close to retirement or when we get tired, <laughs> tired of working, it's time to expand our world, expand our horizons, do something fun, travel and see the world. When you travel, you should go see things you've never experienced before. If you've never been to Thailand, go to Thailand. You've never been to Disneyland, go to Disneyland. What's exciting about this is like sometimes the preparation, you know, so, you know, you're packing stuff and you're getting all ready and you're gonna take a trip and so you got, you got your workout gear. I guess bring a couple of t-shirts, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's a good one. We're gonna, we're gonna take that one for sure. Maybe some pants. And don't forget, you gotta make time to work out. Don't tell me you don't have time to work out on vacation. I don't buy that. Or when you're traveling, make the time. So throw in your workout gloves if you wear them. Take your gym. If you guys have never used these before, between using either isometrics, which is a dynamic tension workout, or these rubber bands, that's really all you need. You don't really need a gym. You can do more with these and isometrics than you can do in a gym. So take those bad boys. Well, sometimes you get a project. Oh, I like that. Oh yeah, we need that. We're gonna take that for sure. Two things to take for sure. When you guys are traveling, don't forget your Afro-D. It's the only supplement I use and um, I'm thrilled with the with results with this. I mean, this this is an amazing product. All natural, four ingredients made by Mother Nature, and it's going to get your muscle tone in great shape. My muscle tone is better than when I was in college. I'm going to clock my 72nd trip around the world this this uh, this year. This has helped me stay in shape, able to run around, do things I've never been able to do before at this age. It's amazing. So get that. You want to make sure you probably grab your Androgen Diet book if you don't have it, because this is your Bible to your body and your life's experiences. This has diets, recipe ideas, workout ideas. And what's funny, I, I get a kick. The diet is not a diet, it's a feast. So make sure you take your uh, Androgen Diet book with you as well. Why do we do this? How, what, what is retirement to you? How important is retirement? How important is staying active, being able to do things instead of watch things, instead of look at a mountain, you want to climb the mountain. You've heard me say this before. Instead of watching a guy surf, you want to get out there and you want to surf with this guy. You want to ride the wave right next to him. In order to do that, you have to maintain your body and be able to condition it to deal with your, your aging. Because aging does happen. But it's how you think about it and how you accept it or how you do something about having the best possible life you can have during your aging period. I plan on going to 103, maybe 104, but that's a few days off yet. So what I want to share with you is that traveling is a great way to keep your mind sharp. When you go into other cultures, you go to other places around the world, you'll experience things that you wouldn't at home. And not saying that being at home is not a bad idea to explore that. Maybe you've never been 20 miles out of side of town at this one monument or what have you. I know people that live around Mount Rushmore have never even gone to it. So maybe explore around close to home first. But then get your world traveling because world travel is amazing. What's cool is you meet other cultures and that's really important. That's key to keep in mind. It's it's another culture. It's not our culture, it's their culture. If we're in their country, we need to embrace what they do, what they offer us. If we go to Portugal, that's where I live. You guys come to Portugal and see me. This is a totally different, you know, culture. It's sort of a laid back, it's sort of a manana manana attitude. It's sort of like the, uh, the Latinos, you know, like, hey, if it doesn't get done today, it might get done tomorrow. Maybe not, because <laughs> just manana doesn't mean tomorrow. It just means not today, okay? Back to one of my questions. What does retirement mean to you? What do you see yourself doing that? Do you see yourself, you know, walking down the hall and grabbing the cat, sitting in the rocking chair and, and stroke the cat as you're watching the day go by? Or do you plan on <laughs> tossing the cat out in the yard, kick the rocking chair out of your way and go do things? Set up those travels, you know, again, go visit a neighbor, go visit a friend, go do something in retirement. Don't be retired, okay? I, I mean, I, I, I'm sort of preaching to the choir. The guys that take care of themselves, men and women, they want to do things. They don't want to sit around. That's why they take care of themselves. That's why I hope you will embrace this lifestyle, this mindset of staying in shape. And to stay in shape, 
you don't have to do that many things. You don't have to work out that much. You have to eat well. Yeah, get some sleep, rest, do some kind of exercise. If you're out hiking all the time or something like that, maybe this exploration trip you're taking is out in the mountains. Well, then you're going to be in good shape doing that, okay? You just have to do things that that are going to contribute to your well-being, your happiness. Happiness is critical. You want to enjoy what you're doing. You don't want to dread it. Those are a few points. You know what's really exciting is the idea of chasing the sun, always heading to the west, looking to, for the next adventure. But you don't want to catch it. You never want to catch the sun. You always want to be like, let it be 10 steps ahead of you, but taking you to your next adventure. Don't catch up with the sun, but follow it. Chase the sun, okay? In your golden years, you know, they'll sit in their easy chair all day long. They'll have somebody else mow the lawn for them. They'll have a food giant deliver their groceries to them, you know, on the weekend or something like that. They won't get out and do much. Don't do that to yourself. Keep yourself active. Keep enjoying life. Keep doing things you enjoy doing. Never think like, well, when, when is that day going to come that I can't do this anymore? Don't even think that. It's a mindset. Think way beyond. I'm going to be doing this as long as possible and I plan on doing it for... 30 more years, whatever. But don't think, well, I think I should settle down, you know, and, and start being like a grown-up. <laughs> I don't think so. You think, you know, you need to enjoy life. Some people think the earth is still flat. Why don't we find out? Get on your ship, get your stuff packed, you know, load the dog up if the dog's going with you, and sail towards the horizon and see if you fall off. If you do, you're going to fall on the best adventure you've ever taken. I hope you guys maybe got a little bit of my rambling here is something that will sort of strike a note because I you know recapping it, here's the important things. When you come to retirement age or the golden years or what have you, where most people slow down, if you don't want to, don't. If you really want to, go ahead. We're all different. We all have different goals. But if we like to stay active and usually enjoy life uh, in an adventurous style, don't let your age, the number, don't let that get into your head. Don't let, oh man, you're like 62 now. You better you better calm down. Or you're not 65 now. You you are retired, right? You're going to get your pension check and all that and just sort of take it easy. Are you 70? Are you 80? And you still have that burning desire to get out and do things? Do it. Don't let your age. It's just a number, guys. It's just a number. It's what you have up here is how much you enjoy life at no matter what age you're at. So, you guys, thank you for hanging with me. You've been a great audience if you're still here. Sorry to bend your ear this long. I just want us to enjoy life. I want us to experience things together, hopefully. One day, maybe we'll cross paths, man. We'll hike up that mountain or we'll grab the guy's surfboard when he's not looking and we'll go out and catch a few waves. Anyway, love you all. Take care of yourselves. Eat well, exercise, sleep, build your body up, get conditioned, and enjoy life. And whatever you do, make it epic. Love you all.